Hi, this is Bibi. So I woke up again and I'm talking. I'm not really talking out uh, loudly, but I'm kind of talking like I'm in a normal tone of voice. But the thing to note is that above me, I'm also here. I heard somebody's, I don't know if it's a response to me or somebody said something. At the same time, I know a name, my neighbor upstairs is, uh, she was doing something. So she, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. She wasn't talking. <laughs> so this is where I know how the recording sound is coming about. It's that I was talking something about money. Something about money. This is why you and I can always, we have this feeling of not being rested. They're picking our brains to get some information. It's like they're keeping our brains active all the time. It's like they're living and they're talking through us. They're living and they're talking through us. Because I, I don't know. What they're doing with this information or what they're doing with all this, I don't know. My guess is to set us up. Commit all these crimes, all, uh, heinous crimes, and then set us up. Make it look like we are partners in crimes with them. The Which is, in my case, what I think the, the female, the woman, is what, what she's trying to do. Is either she's trying to save the male, because she would save the male. This is, this is, she's programmed for this, and she seems to enjoy it. I get so sarcastic with her. Because this is a woman in her 30s. She acts like an out-of-control toddler. The things she's doing with me, and she says it, nobody is stooping her. I am not stooping her. They are not stooping her, whoever they are. Whether it's the police, the FBI, the government, her boyfriend, boyfriend family, her family, who knows. But nobody is stooping her. And my heater wasn't on at the time when I when I woke up. It was 14 minutes after 5. I'm going to ask my landlord in the morning, well, later, a few hours from now, if, if she overheard someone talking. I don't think she could have heard me talking down here because I wasn't talking that loudly, at least... To the point where I woke up, I wasn't talking that loudly, but I heard someone say something above me. And I'm not sure if it was her talking to herself. As she was puttering around up there. Or it was somebody in between me and her doing that talk, responding to what I was saying. Because there's a reason why she's following me. I've always said it. There's a reason why she keeps following me. Is to make me, is to, is to record, record. Now, why is she recording? I don't know. If she, if she trusts me, if she doesn't trust me, let's just say she's here with me. If she doesn't trust me, why, why, here, why be here with me at all? Why you have to record? If every conversation we have, you have to record it against my will. Because I'm not giving anybody's permission, anybody permission to record me at all. I'm not giving anybody permission to record me at all. Why? Why record me? Why Why even so quote-unquote be here with me? If this goes to court, that would be one of the questions I would hope they would ask her. Why the hell are you, why were you there with her if you don't trust her? Are you on a stakeout? Did someone tell you you're staking her out? Are you police? Are you FBI? Are you working for the feds? Are you working for the government? Are you working for the Homeland Security? What's your file on this woman? What has she done? What have they told you? You all lived on the same property with her. Did you tell the landlord that this is a, this might be a known terrorist? 
Did you tell this woman that she might be a threat to the other tenants in the yard? Did you tell the landlord all these things? Did you notify your local police environment? If you have all solid intel on this person. That there's a, th there's a threat, a viable threat in the neighborhood. Because I would have to be like a threat of national security for all of this to happen. Is what I'm saying. That's no light threat here. I would have to be a threat to the security of this country. For, for them to do this to me. Like a threat of, 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 of national uh, 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 status. Enemy of the state type thing. Because we're not talking no small time thing here. Big pocket or some shit like that. Because they're making the way how how they how how what they're doing to me is like they're 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 targeting a terrorist, some kind of fucking terrorist, or some somebody who's stolen like millions and millions and millions of dollars from somewhere. I barely got two fucking cents to rub together, but millions of dollars. I don't know where it is. I'm 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 already fifty years old. I guess I'm waiting until I'm fucking ninety to start spending. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean where 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 why why do they have to do this to make us feel like we're the criminals? You ever notice that? You, that you're starting to see yourself, well, not see yourself, is that you're you're kind of getting I I angry because they're making you believe that they th they're trying to, to establish like you're a fucking criminal. <coughs> they're trying to they're trying to establish like you're a fucking criminal. Like they're trying to make you feel, or trying to make us feel like we're we're the criminals, we're the bad guys. We're the perpetrators. We're the ones who are doing wrong. This is exactly... I, I, I believe that this is what they do, though. This is how this brand of criminal, because of the sheer enormity of the evil that they portray. These are criminals who kill people. They kill people. They're not just thieves. They're thieves and killers. They will kill for money. I mean, let's face it. Cut all the crap. This gang stalking? They would kill people. There are psychopaths in everything. Look at a church. You will find a psychopath in there. Once you get you wrap your head around that, you can wrap your head around anything else. So they will actually, so most of them will probably seek out these fucking psychopaths because they want the psychopath to actually do the deed so they don't feel a, in, like they're responsible. Well, they didn't expect that to happen. That was not their intention. So their hands are quote-unquote semi-quasi-clean. That's what they would do. They have all kinds of tricks up their sleeve to, in a way, feel uh, not directly responsible for their crimes. Whether it's a moral thing, whether it's a fear of some kind of residual fear of the divine wrath and punishment of what happens after you fucking die. I think in this case, my particular perpetrator, this is one of her biggest fears is what happens to her after she dies. What happens to people after they die? Because she has done some horrendous things, maybe. So she's concerned now, is she going to roast in this literal hell after she dies? In this land of lake of fire and sulfur, as they call it? Or is it just a myth? And you know what she's going to proceed to do? Is continue to do the same fucking thing to find out.
That's right. That's right. She's on a mission now, which means she has to rack up more victims. I tell you, it, people will find the flimsiest excuse to keep doing shit. And once they've, once they've done the ultimate, well, you know, it's like it becomes easier and easier. It's like a serial killer. After the first kill, the second one becomes easier. The third one is easier. By the fourth one, there's no hesitation. They just do what they do. They make allowances for it. They get over their fear. And they just kill. Not only that, they start to enjoy it. They start to live life from the point of view. Well, this is what they do now. This is this is their life's... This is on their life's path. This is just like, for us, uh, going to Walmart and, or, or going to the store and getting a loaf of bread. Or, 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 or getting a, a sack of potatoes. Or, or, or just, uh, you know, just everyday things that we do. This becomes natural to them. Becomes regular. Becomes a feeling of just, they're just doing something. They don't have any second thoughts. They're not thinking it's anything special or extraordinary. It's just a daily day activity. It's just what they do. I mean, like we don't go every day to the store. They don't fuck with people like this to this extent every day, but they do. They fuck with people every day, but not to this extent. We eat every day, but we don't might not go to the store every day. But the thing is, um, I woke up talking and there's something about money. And I'm, I opened my eyes. My eyes were wide open. Of course, I'm, well, I would do what I was doing. I always wake up with it. I'm not I'm not one of those people who wake up groggy. <laughs> I wake up very alert. I open my eyes and I close them again. Because I thought I could trick her. And I don't know if I did. Open my eyes. I did a move. I closed it and I kept talking. And I heard this, 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 the person's voice. I don't know what they said. It was muffled. And then I started talking loudly like, like that. And then, you know, so I don't, I don't know. I was hoping to fucking fuck up the recording, whatever she's doing. But I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure she has to be recording. What else could she do? The, 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 thing, the thing is, though, when I was talking, I, I figured that out. Is that, that That's the only reason I would be doing. And they have microphones, right? I mean, they have microphones. She's talking in one room. She could be across the street talking in one room. But she's going to be close to me to get the environmental noises. She's going to be trying to be as close to me as possible. Because it's kind of hard to replicate the same environment, environmental noises. To duplicate it. So. If this goes bust or it goes belly up for them or it goes to court. They want to make sure that. It sounds like she's in the same environment as I am. So she has to follow me. She either going to be above me or below me. This is the reason, one of the reasons why she keeps following me. She, she's trying to, to be as close to the same envir environment as I am. So that it sounds like I'm right. Like she's right here. Because they must have listened to some recordings from the past. That they've been doing. And it doesn't sound quite right. There's some added noise where she is or where I am or something that doesn't quite mesh up. That's quite, that's so simple. That's like, you know, it's it, it just what it is. I mean, it had to be. Why else would she keep following me? Some dumbass shit like that. Why else would she keep following me? But what I'm saying is... I was talking something about money, and of course, this has to be something with money. And I opened my eyes, and I thought, you know, like she has to close them again. I said something, when I heard somebody say something, didn't hear exactly what the response was, or if it was just a lady upstairs talking to herself, or, you know, people do talk to themselves. But I don't think so, I think it was her. She was probably, but the voice came from above, so that means she would have to be in the space between... My ceiling and the lady's floor at the bottom. So she has to be within the crawl space. Either that or she has a record, like a, rec 
um, some microphone or something picking up the environmental noise again. Like I said, they they've had a lot of time to 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 figure this out because they want to establish like they I don't know what they're trying to do if they're trying to make it look like she and I are partners in crime or what. Because yesterday evening something happened. Like I've said before, I talk to psychics. I've talked to psychics before. And in 2019, this was about two years ago, when she had disappeared into her house, she had disappeared into her house, basically, she lived in this, like a room, basically. A very small cottage. You go in and that's it. It's uh, um I was wondering if again if this was an abused woman. If she was being banished into her house by this abusive boyfriend or whatever. And according to the psychic she used to be sitting on the floor, like just uh she used to be sitting on the floor on a corner and if one time I talked to a psychic and he was asking me, do you hear something thumping on a wall? And I'm like, no, because I can't hear her from, top, from across there. It's concrete. Our walls are not, you know, like that. Her walls, she had concrete. Cement walls. It, it's, you can't really hear through that that, that, that that quickly. My walls were different, I believe. I had like wood or something. But her, her walls were concrete. So you can't really hear, you know, like somebody thumping somebody on a wall like that. The, the concrete would muffle or something. So no, I said no. He said, well, like the, the boyfriend has been just shaking her, shaking her against the wall. Against like, you know, talking and just shaking, shaking her against the wall like that. And I'm like, mm, no, I didn't hear anything. So... Yesterday, like I, the past two or three days, she's been like in a high gear, you know, and I've been reacting like just is either I have these outbursts, these raving of just saying the most anything at all that I can say, any nasty, foul thing is just to just to have to get it out because I'm living under this pressure of this person's all 24 hours a day in my head provoking me. She's not doing it through text messages. She's not doing it on a phone. She's doing it literally in my head. She's provoking me 24 hours a day. And she's provoking me in real time with the very things that I'm doing, watching in my, in my environment. So there's that added anger and frustration of having my privacy invaded to that extent. That's not, because nobody should go through that. Not, not even a prisoner. If you imprison, the guards are not watching. Every time you, 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 you go to the bathroom or you pee or you take a poop, they give you some sort of privacy. They give you some sort of privacy. I think I don't even think they would have like cameras inside your cell. I don't think so. They have some right to privacy. Not these people out here. Oh my God. Not the police officers out here. Not the police. Not, not the the cops out here. Not these cops. I'm not. I'm not. I'm being. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Not. These cops, in the sense, they're not police officers. They're, they're, they're self-branded police. So I don't know. Because why else would she be doing this? If she does not feel like she's protected by the law on some level, why would she be doing taking all these risks? She has to believe that she is being protected by the law on some level. She has to be. This little, she has to, she has to believe it. She has to believe this on some level that she's being protected by the law. The amount of things this woman has done to me and they're so, is becoming more and more open now. 
I think people around here are, are, know or they, they've been told that I'm some kind of, I don't know, maybe some kind of terrorist, some kind of pedophile, some kind of criminal. I don't know. But I believe in this case, they are not who they're pretending to be. They've watched and they've, they've, they've done research on how this works. And they're pretending to be like they have the authority of some law enforcement agencies backing. And I don't think that these do. I think what they did is stole my grandma's stamps and they sold them. And that's where their income is coming from. That's where their income is coming from. It's not coming from any policing groups. These people are horrendous. Now, like anything is for sale out there. They can buy these equipment. They can buy them. They can buy things, buy, go buy toys, buy gadgets. They can buy them. They have deep pockets. They can buy them. And make people believe, well, they, they are protected by the law. So they're acting boldly. This is why they need to get caught. They're hiding in plain sight. They're doing all this in plain sight. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. They're all liars. And they're, they're bullshit. They're all bullshitters. My, I don't know if your particular uh, perpetrators are from a policing group, but mine aren't. Because if they were, they would have had to, by law, tell the landlord where we lived. They would have had to tell people. They would have had, and I don't think so, because I don't think so. I don't think they told anyone. And I will have to ask somebody to question the landlord is, if, if they ever told him anything. If they ever told him anything. Because if they can be thorough to the point where they're following me and recording everything I say. To see to make it seem like she and I are here together as a couple or some partner in crime or something. Then I got to do the same thing to protect myself, don't I? I got to even the playing field, even if it's just 1%. Instead of giving them all the power all the time. This isn't right. No, it's not right. And I believe this is the way we need to start fighting back, quote-unquote, is try to level the playing field. Because we don't know what these people are up to, what they're doing. But then again, last night, I was beginning to say, um, but the, the psychic had told me that, asked me that. If I heard it, I said no. So I was, I was getting angry. And yesterday, yesterday, uh, the lady called me and said, are you okay? Because she heard about, you know, was, you know, a little angry and yelling. I said, yeah, I'm sorry. She said, no, it's like she's wondering if I'm okay because like it's, something is bothering me, you know. Usually people don't be afraid of me. Like they're not afraid because, you know, they're just concerned because they know I'm a good person. I'm not an antagonistic person. I'm a good person. And she was concerned. She said, if you want to come up, you know, have some, you know, have a drink, do yours, whatever. I said, no, it's fine. And she said, um, have, you, have you been hitting the walls? I'm like, no, I have not. She said she's hearing banging, like for like about an hour. She's hearing banging and like somebody hitting the wall or hitting the door or the door slamming or something. See, that's what I'm, and I remembered what that psychic had asked me if I'm hearing banging from, from her house. And now she's, I'm hearing that here, she's asking me if, if, if I'm banging, banging something. If I was banging on the walls. See, this is how I'm being set up for something. This is how I'm being set up for something. And this is not going to work for me. This is how I believe I'm being set up for something. Because I don't trust her. I don't trust them as far as I can see them. I can throw them. And I can't throw them anywhere. Because they, they're, they're, they're grown people. These are not kids. These are grown ass people.
And they're not babies. They're not lost babes in the woods someplace. They're scheming, conniving, planning, and executing, executing human beings. And they fully well know what they're doing is wrong. And they do choose to do it anyway. Like I say, it's not for a lack of something good and productive to do. It's just a desire to do bad. It's just a desire to have power over people in an underhanded, ugly, nasty, mean way. That's what they are. They're craving power, more or less. You see, they're hacking in and they're watching people. And they're seeing people have power over people. Now that either turns you off completely or it warms you up completely. It can go one of both ways. It depends on the individual. You can either feel sorry for the people who are being bullied or you can either become one of the bullies. Guess which ones they chose. Guess which one your perpetrator chose.